Welcome to UARC. So this particular video is completely about second exam of NASA 2020 and we are also going to discuss few questions that appeared in first exam of NASA that happened in 29th of August 2020. So let's get into the video now. So let's see the important dates for NATA first and second exam. NATA second exam will be conducted on 12th September 2020. The result of first NATA will be declared on 3rd September 2020. So the registration for second NATA open till September 4, 2020. Sometimes this may be extended but we will try to register within September 24th if you haven't registered earlier. Mock test for second NATA that is for home based test will be conducted on September 7, 2020. Publication of admit card for second NATA will be given on 9th September 2020 and the final results of second NATA will be published on 17th September 2020. So these are important dates that we have to note down. So let's discuss few questions on NATA 1 exam. Okay, So this is one of the clip which is taken from our Prescott Prize video I think. If you have watched it and if you have clearly seen here we can see it's John Hudson who is architect of Sydney Opera House in 1973. He also got Prescott Prize for the year 2003. He is from Denmark and that is 25th Prescott Award. If you have seen this particular video, then definitely you would have answered the question, I guess. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next question. Who is the Pritzker Prize winner of 2018? You can see it's Desi Doshi and he is from India. So, I think this question also you would have answered. Next question. So, this particular question is again a clip from our video to... They are asking about how many number of triangles and squares are given in this video. So here the answer is 28 triangles and 6 squares. I will show you how. So as we discussed this particular question clearly in previous video. So I am just showing it. So let's move on to the next question. On the color when combination of violet yellow or orange blue is described as orange yellow and violet blue. These are complementary color combinations. This is also taken from our video. Uh, clipping. So moving on to the next question. Pioneers of modern architecture. We have four big architects under this. Lee Corbusier, Walter Coopers, Frank Lloyd Wright and Mies van Roo. So Mies van Roo is very famous one. But these four architects are pioneers of modern architecture. So if you had any option like if you had the uh, uh, any one option here you can select one or if you have many options and you have to select four you have to select these four architects here the architects who are very famous for deconstructivism are uh, Frank Gehry, Zaha Hadid, Peter Einstein, Rem Kolas so I have listed seven architects here these people are very famous for deconstructivism moving on to the next question Lee Corbusier gave us five points of new architecture. Uh, so this question was told to me uh, by one of our subscriber, but she was not very clear about this particular question. So you guys please let me know that if this particular question has reflected in your exam. So anyway, we will discuss this particular question because this might help you in your next exam as well. So first is Pilotus. Pilotus is a 
So grid of concrete or steel columns replaces the load bearing walls and become basis of new aesthetic. The deceive factor is the idea of supporting structures on pillars in order to make soil freely usable. It's because the ground floor soil can easily percolate its soil as well as we can use most of the spaces. So this is one particular idea. And what is the second point is roof garden. We already know the usage of roof garden because it can be used as kitchen garden or as well as sun terraces. So what happens is this particular garden uh, enables the moisture content within the roof and it acts as a heat or cold insulator. So in our particular country it acts as a heat insulator. What happens is uh, it uh, blocks the direct radiation that is entering into the building from the roof. So our next point is free ground plan. So absence of this particular wall between living space and other uh, rooms gives enable ample uh, flexible space inside the building. Okay. Next point is horizontal windows. So this particular horizontal windows gives enough light into the building and makes the interior space with well light and it gives good views to the surroundings. Next is free facade. The open and closed section on the facade enables separation or connection of the exterior design from the building structure. So if it is open, it gives connection. If it is closed, then it gives separation. Okay, that is free facade called. So these are the five points. Let's discuss on another important question. I don't think this appeared in Nata, but still I wanted to discuss with you guys. A town planning architect called Kevin Lynch, he wrote a book called Image of the City. There he has given five points, okay, five basic elements which people use to construct their mental image of the city. So these are the five points people used to get when they think about city. What are those are? Pathways, districts, edge, landmark and nodes. So Kevin Lynch, a town planning architect, he wrote a book called Image of the City and he gave five elements of image of city, mental image of city. So remember this, okay? So moving on to the next question. What does RCC, reinforced cement concrete means? Let's see what is concrete first. Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, aggregate and water in a fixed proportion. Concrete is strong in compression and weak in tension. Okay, so in order to increase the tensile strength of concrete, a reinforcing material, reinforcing material is provided in concrete, which increases the strength of the concrete in tension. Because concrete is already having compressive strength, so this tensile strength also gets improved because of this reinforcing material. Okay, so what is this reinforcing material? Is steel. Commonly used reinforcing material is steel. So when this particular concrete mixture is combined with steel as reinforcing material, we call it as reinforced cement concrete. Hope you guys understood. Moving on to the next question. Bihar Museum was constructed in the year 2018 by architects Maki and Associates and Opolis. Fire resistant construction materials I have given few here asbestos, cement, plaster, stucco, stone, brick, and concrete blocks. So, fire resisting material are the materials which resist the fire occurrence in the building. Who is the architect of Madhya Pradesh Vidhan Sabha? Architect Charles Kodia. Let's talk about Buckingham Palace. It is located in London. It is home and administrative center of British royal family. And architecture followed here is neoclassical architecture. Principal architects are John Nash and Edward Bloor. So there are many architects here. More, I think five or six architects. These are principal architects. So we have got few abbreviation type of questions here. In first nata, I think IGBC and BIM has come. IGBC means Indian Green Building Council and BIM is Building Information Modeling. So I have listed down few full forms as well. Uh, like Griha, it is Green Rating for Integrated Habitat Assessment. Lead, 
leadership in energy and environmental design eia environmental impact assessment fsi floor space index far floor area ratio jn nurm jawaharlal nehru national urban renewal mission hdfc housing development finance corporation hatco the housing and urban development corporation limited pm gsy pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana so what is base of tetrahedron this also we discussed in our previous video so the base is triangle so even if you are having a cross section horizontal along the base or perpendicular to the base we get triangle in tetrahedron hcp design is the architecture firm awarded for new delhi central vista or raj park led by the principal architect bimal patel this particular architecture firm is located in ahmedabad tautology means saying same thing twice over in different words for example if i say close proximity close means what something which is nearby proximity which is of same meaning right but we are using two words together of same meaning okay this is to emphasize how close it is but both are same same way in mathematics it means so if you say a statement which is true in different words like that okay